Hey guys, what would you do if you had to park your vehicle and you see a sign like this? You'd be like, what the fuck? New South Wales residents pay $190 million in parking fines every year. Expert says that one in four are down to confusion. But don't worry, in this video I'm gonna show you how to read signs like that and hopefully don't get parking fines like I do. Let's go. Hey guys, how are you? It's Ken Gruber here. In the video today, I'm gonna to show you how to read the confusing parking signs here in Australia. You have any idea about how many times I've been fined here in New South Wales? No, say. 20 parking fines. And I've already spent around $5,000, so I'm a specialist when it comes to this subject. And uh, hopefully, I'll help you to avoid these stupid fines. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like and share this video, okay? I'm gonna show you here my screen and uh, I'll analyze two signs and show you how to think and how to read this shit. I know it looks like a difficult question in a, an exam, but it kind of has a logic. It was a stupidly designed just to make you pay money, but uh, it makes some sense, okay? Let's go to the first one here. We have this sign with like one, two, three, four, five, six different signs. You're gonna see that it's divided in right or left okay let's start by the top that's why you should do your car can be towed if you stop your car during these no stopping hours so from the right side of this sign you cannot stop from 6 a.m to 10 a.m and you cannot stop from 3 p.m to 8 p.m from a monday to friday okay so if you park your car there it can't be towed no stopping whatsoever otherwise you can be fine or get your car towed let's keep the right side after this hour, so from 10 a.m., we come to the loading zone here, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. here. So you can see it makes some logic, like fill the gap, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a Monday to Friday. This is a loading zone with a ticket. What does it mean? Loading zone, you can just park your car there. If you have a van, if you have a, a truck, or you have a ute, like mostly for people that are actually working, doing some uh, removal and this kind of stuff. And the ticket means that people, they have to pay to park there for how long they stay. So if they, they park there, they have a ute, they, they'll put the ticket, they're gonna be fine. Of course, if a, a ranger comes in and see the car. But if a, a person like me, who doesn't have any ute or anything, I just have a medium SUV, I park my car there, doesn't matter if I put the ticket or not, I'm gonna be fine, because it's a loading zone, okay? So 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., loading zone with ticket and then from 3 p.m to 8 no stopping whatsoever and then we go back here to the bottom one because we are talking about monday to friday and then after 8 p.m we come here monday to friday 8 p.m to 12 a.m you can actually park your car on the right side with a 4p ticket what a 4p ticket means that you can pay to stay there four hours and then you put a ticket a ticket is like a zona azul we have in, in sao paulo like i guess the whole brazil you pay for the ticket how long you need maybe half an hour maybe 15 minutes or maximum four hours you put the the ticket inside your car so if the guy sees has a ticket you won't be fine in this time okay and after 12 a.m you don't need any ticket to park so you don't pay to park there and then you need to remove your car at 6 a.m when it comes to saturday you can park you don't have any known stopping on saturday but on saturday it's loading zone from 6 a.m to 10 a.m and after 10 a.m you come here you can park your car from 10 a.m to 10 p.m again ticket 4p so if you need to stay more than four hours, what do you do? You pay 4P, you put the ticket inside of your car. After the four hours, you pay the ticket again, put a new ticket inside of your car. That's how it works. And then after 10 p.m., you don't need to pay anything. You can park your car there for free. And from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., you need to remove your car 8 a.m. or pay the ticket on a Sunday in public holidays. That's how it works. And then we go to the left side. Left side, uh, 4P ticket, the same stuff I told you. You can park your car there as long as you have the ticket from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. on the Monday to Friday or 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. on a Saturday or 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. on Sunday public holidays. And then you cannot park your car from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday or 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. on a Saturday because it's just for ambulances. Of course, I told you about this side in the last video. You can actually pick up someone and stay there for two minutes, but not longer than that, okay? And you're gonna see like the times, they kind of fill the gaps. So you see here, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. And after 6 p.m., you come here, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m., you can park your car for free. Let's go to the next one. Hopefully it was clear. This one is easier. You have like less stuff, less information. So this one is similar to the last one, like the non-stopping, but it's just because of a special event. So you have this one from right or left, you cannot park your car, not just one side, like the last one. And what is the special event? You see here, New Year's Eve. So from 6 a.m. on the 31st of December to 4 a.m. on Tuesday, 1st of January, 
you cannot park your car there new year's eve and then after 4 a.m on the first of january let's analyze the left side work zone what does it mean people are constructing some shit there so just people that are working in that zone can park the car there oh i have a ute i'm, I'm not working there but i have a ute you cannot park your car there okay so work zone 7 a.m to 7 p.m just people working in that site job site can park there from monday to friday and then on a saturday 7 a.m to 5 p.m just allow for that people other than these times here cannot park your car there otherwise you're gonna be fine right side let's come here work zone with a ticket so the same shit but the guys who are working there if they don't find a spot on the left side they have to park on the right side and they have to pay for that and other than the working hours so after 7 p.m monday to friday you come here 4p ticket so 7 p.m to 12 a.m you need to pay the ticket to park there okay and then after 12 a.m you can park for free but then you have to remove your car 7 a.m saturday 7 a.m to 5 p.m working zone again so you can just park your car i daniel can just park my medium suv there after 5 p.m and then i have to pay the ticket to stay there otherwise i will be fine and then from from 10 p.m on uh, saturday to sunday i can park for free from 10 p.m to 8 a.m and then i need to put the ticket again and uh from 8 a.m to 10 p.m it's all ticketed area on a sunday and public holiday okay just two examples i know this is confusing but it kind of makes sense i mean logic doesn't make sense to have this stupid sign and the worst thing is actually is like if you get fined you don't put the ticket or you parked in the work zone the rangers they don't even put the receipt in your wipers in windscreen wipers anymore so you don't know if you've been fine or not you're just gonna be noticed in your app or you receive a letter at home so uh, you cannot even take a picture sometimes they do something wrong it's not your fault and you don't have evidence to show they just make the, this to to make money okay i know it's dishonest it is how it is hopefully this video has helped you guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like and share this video, okay? See you next time, guys. Bye. Hey.